the Limelight Pet Project and I am here with Crystal Kieke from Perfect Pals in Arlington. We've got some amazing cats in this room with us right now. Like this is, I feel like I just want to move in. <laughs> They're all giant and extremely playful and all just like, they are all, they're here for the limelight. They know that we're here for all of them. But who are we actually featuring today? We are featuring this beauty quizzard. And she is about 10 years old. And she is what we would consider a tortoise. She has a little spot on her head. And she is loving this attention. Let me just tell mm -hmm. you. Yeah, she's been giving us some good... Uh, displays of her belly and her like how good she is at rolling around um, and just you know really wanting to sit in laps and just being adorable she really is sweet so there's something special about all the cats in here uh, can you tell us a little bit about her health condition yeah so we are in our leukemia land room so all the kitties in here are positive for feline leukemia virus so that is a retrovirus that affects their immune system. So these cats can go on to live normal, happy, healthy cat lives. Um, just their immune systems are compromised. So any secondary infections need to be addressed right away. And as long as they're getting regular vet checkups and vet care, um, they should, you know, live a normal life. Um, and then it's recommended that they they can live with other cats that have the same condition, but is it highly contagious? It is. It's very contagious. They can spread it through their saliva to each other or from using the same litter box. Um, so we adopt these cats out either as singles or with cats that already have the same condition. But otherwise they can obviously, I mean, they're, these guys are kind of maniacs in here and <laughs> I love it. Like this is my, my style of, of cat is just like, let me show you all the things and let, <laughs> look what I can do. Um, I love it. They're, they're so, their personalities are, are enormous and they don't let this illness hold them back from showing how much love they have to give. And she, though, would prefer to be the only cat, so um, it works out. She wants to be the only baby in the house uh -huh. and not share the limelight with yeah. anybody. Yeah, I'd say there's only room for one throne <laughs> exactly. in her home. Exactly, <laughs> one queen, and one she queen. is it. Oh my goodness. So what is your favorite thing about her? I love how cuddly she is, and when I'm giving tours, she will just climb into somebody's lap, and then we have won them over as a volunteer for life. <laughs> so all thanks to Quizzard and her amazing ways of persuasion. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what would a perfect home for her look like? A quiet home, um, and I don't think she would do really well with younger kids that she has to share the attention with, um, but she really does seem to like older teenagers, um, kind of gravitate toward them, so I think an older kid or an adult-only home would be the best fit for her. How is she with um, other types of pets? Um, she did not get along with the dog in her last home, um, so I really think that she would be best as the only pet and mm -hmm. um, the only baby, as I like to yeah. say, in the home. <laughs> so really the perfect home for her would be where her pets are just the people exactly. that are older. Right, right, so exactly. no other, no one else, because she would be the queen. Yeah. She would rule all of it. She's so sweet. And she's on a regular diet, um, so she can have treats and uh, regular food. Um, the only thing is with the leukemia, she has to have regular vet checkups. Make sure she's doing okay. Oh my goodness. So does she enjoy, um, what other things does she enjoy beyond lap time? Um, does she have toys that she likes or treats? You know, she really just loves to nap and nap in laps and <laughs> climb people like their cat trees and um, be carried around like a baby. Um, so those are her favorite pastimes. Uh, she used to run on the cat wheel that's next to you, but she gave that up and just decided that she's a kitty of leisure now. Oh. So someone who works from home would be a really good fit. Yeah, that would be perfect. And if there were multiple people home a lot so she can bounce from one lap uh, to the other, yeah, that yeah. would be great. She would have her own schedule of like 
for my morning shift, I'm in this office. <laughs> For, then we have lunch, then it's nap, and then for the late afternoon shift, I'm in the other one. Yeah. yeah? Um, she does, however, love, they have a big yard out here that's enclosed, so she loves spending time out there um, in the sun rays, so she could have a catio in her future home. That would be wonderful. Perfect. I love it. You like, you like watching the birds? Oh, yes. And the sunshine? Oh, we've got somebody... Oh my. Somebody's growling. Not her. It's the tunnel. <laughs> the, tu the tunnel is growling. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. So, um, is there anything else that you would love for people to know about her? Um, I think they need to know that Quizzard is just the best kitty and she's a shelter favorite here. So, um, it will be a b bittersweet day if she does get adopted for all of us here, but we will be so happy for her because she really does deserve um, to spend the rest of her life in a home being doted on. I love that. So if someone sees Quizzard and is interested in adopting her, what are the next steps? Sure. So please go onto our website, perfectpals.org, P-U-R-R-F-E-C-T, P-A-L-S dot O-R-G. Please go to the adoption tab and fill out the pre-adoption questionnaire. We are doing all of our adoptions by appointment only, so we will pre-screen your application and set you up with an appointment to meet Quizzard and all of her lovely roommates. Oh my goodness. She's just so sweet just sitting here hanging out. Yes. This is a lot of the times cats are like, I don't really want to hang out with you. I'm going to go do other things. But <laughs> she, Oh, yeah. She knows oh, how to turn on the charm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you, Crystal, for sharing Quizzard with us today. You're welcome. We really hope that uh, this helps her find the perfect home. And this has been Marco with the Limelight Pet Project. We shine the light on harder-to-adopt pets because their stories are worth telling.